We're in sunny Arizona. <laughs> it snowed last night and it's freezing. The reason we're in beautiful, sunny, snowy Arizona is we're going to see the Grand Canyon. First impressions, Nancy. It's pretty cool. Pretty grand. We're actually just walking along a trail that's on the rim, and then we're gonna head down into the canyon. But literally, this trail is right on the rim. We're now gonna head down to the Bright Angel Trail and see if we can hike down into the canyon. We walked on the rim trail down to Bright Angel Trailhead and it's too icy. We didn't bring our crampons. We're going to go find another viewpoint. And this way. We're up near the visitor center, so the crowds have gotten a little bigger here, but the views are still beautiful. We're here at the Kaibab Trailhead. It's very beautiful from here, but it also says that it's icy and crampons are recommended. <laughs> so we just talked to an older couple older than us so they're older <laughs> um, to see what it was like they they didn't have crampons and they looked like they were doing okay we'll go down see how it is and if it gets too treacherous we'll come back up yeah <laughs> unless we can't <laughs> here's what it looks like from here Always beware when the mule team has passed. point <laughs> and now we got to go back up the kaibab trail was uh, about an hour out we went to the first viewpoint on that trail it was the Uwa'an point but it ended up taking a little over two hours so considering it was slick and muddy and and we're not in great shape I mean, speak for yourself man true anyway it was good beautiful views uh, it does go all the way to the bottom, which is a seven mile hike. Uh, but generally, if you do that, you have to stay there. There is actually signs warning you not to go down and back in one day. But if you're super fit, I've well, I've like seen, her. I've seen that people do it all in one day, but it wouldn't be easy. So we're at Desert View. It's quite a drive out here, so we hope it's worthwhile. I'm pretty sure it will be, but we're gonna head over to the watchtower.
Nancy, Desert View, what is your review? Um, interesting and a great view. It seems to be kind of the end of the uh, main part of the Grand Canyon. You can see it going off in the distance, but it's a lot uh, narrower. We drove a couple thousand feet and this is Navajo Point. The cool thing here is you can see the watchtower. This one is called Moran Point. We skipped one since Navajo because it was pretty close and we thought it might be very similar. It's just views and hikes. So if you're into those kind of things, this is your place. Tomorrow, we are heading to Zion National Park. Music